super fight coming up with Gordon. It's probably the biggest super fight of all time. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to ask you, uh, do you remember when you first heard about Gordon Ryan? When you first found out who this guy was? The first time? Mm, I think the first time was when... Uh, when uh, he fought the trials against uh, Perez, one of my students, and then he lost the trials. And I think, I don't remember if he, no, he didn't get invited. And then after that, uh, he started using social media to kind of like build his name and start challenging people from different teams, you know, and he's really good on that. And he promote himself really well. And, and then he started like defeating. And I think like when he, uh, when he uh, won the fight against Kina, you know, no time limit, that's when everybody started like, oh, who's this guy, you know? And then like his name started popping up. And that's how I, I heard about him. And before that, I don't remember like listening about his name, you know? Um, I think it was back in 2015 when he fought Mike, and I think when he fought Kina was like back in 2017, maybe 16, yeah. something like that, right? So, well, that's well, how you... What were the early impressions of him? Because I feel like when I, when I remember it, like the trash talk online wasn't as common before that. Like, what, 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 what was the reaction to that? Yeah, like, he has like that type of personality where uh, he likes to go on social media and try to like, uh, cause drama, you know, like, and start getting attention like that. And that that came from, I would say, like, the first one to do it really well was, like, Cassius Clay, really well back in the day in boxing. And then, like, nowadays we saw, like, Chel Sonny and then Conor McGregor doing an MMA. But in Jiu-Jitsu, we never had someone like that. And then Gordon pop up and start, like, I think he... He thought about it and he's like, oh, I think this is a nice way for me to promote myself. And then he did it really well. And uh, I I was like, I had my, my personality, you know, my way to do things. Back in the day, like, we didn't have social media. We didn't have iPhone, right, <laughs> or even YouTube. And then um, I was like, okay, so let me, let me start doing it, you know, like, let me... You know, and I remember like uh, many times I went to I went to New York. He he texted me, hey, let's train. You know this and that. You know, it was kind of like, like, no, unfortunately I can't because I'm I'm leaving today and all that. You know, so and then the talk starts, and then I was like, okay, let me promote it. You know, but then like uh, later on, it started getting really personal. Like you know, like he was like being really aggressive, and I didn't understand why. And it seems like he, was, he wasn't trying to help to promote this sport, but I felt like he was trying to hurt my reputation, you know, and my, my character and all that. And, and then I, I felt like I went to a trap, I would say, right? And I was in a bad moment in my life, you know, uh, spiritually speaking, I was in the dark, dark side. I was away from God and all that. And I feel like all this, like that was happening, pandemic and all, you know, like the pandemic came and stress and, you know, all of this like happening at the same time uh, drove me to this like uh, dark side, you know, and I, I fail, you know, I fail and I recognize that I fail. And I was like, man, I don't need it, you know, so I was getting intoxicated, you know, by social media I was like hours and hours on phone on my phone, you know. I wasn't like sleeping really well. And I was like, man, what I'm doing myself, you know? And then I'm just like, I woke up. I was like, okay, no, I gotta change the way, you know? That I'm acting, let me, let me just work. And if I need to fight him, we're gonna fight. Let's do it. But I don't need this, this type of environment, you know? I don't need that. 